Next thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to add site data to the toolbox. And the site data, we use the new user's fast track form as well for, so I'm going to leave that form open. I'm going to click on the add sites button here. And that opens up my form. I'm going to make this smaller. And these have the same color scheme as the personnel form. So the yellow fields are required. The fields that are yellow with the red frame around them are primary keys of the toolbox. And you want to not change that later on. So you want to enter the site ID that you're going to use. You, don't, you can't change this later on. And the white fields are the optional fields. So I have two sites in my imaginary or air program that I need to enter into the toolbox. The site ID for my first site is S46. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Then I'm going to press the tab key. And that takes me to the site name field. And that's a required field. And my site name is Tribal Air Office. And then I click tab to take me to the AQS site ID field. Now in this field, I don't have my AQS site ID. That's something I work with my EPA regional liaison to establish. And we haven't established that yet. So I can just leave this field blank because it is an optional field. So all I need to do in this situation, since I'm going to leave that blank, is just click on the tab key to take me to the next field, which is the address field. And I'm going to go ahead and type that in and the city and the state and the zip code and this field like the telephone number field for the personnel data is an input mask so it's set up to already take the five digit zip code with the four digit extension if you have it i don't have my extension so i'm just going to leave my five digits and then tab out to the latitude and now the latitude is something that i easily make a data entry error on because it is a long number and if you happen to have your latitude and your longitude or any of this other data in an electronic media file like say a word file you can copy that data from the word file into the toolbox and i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna go into the notes document and I'm going to copy that latitude and longitude from there. So this is something that you might want to do with your data. And to copy, you just want to highlight the number, the number or the text you wanted to copy and do control and C on your keyboard. And you do that at the same time. So control C. And then I go back into the toolbox and I do control V. Control V as in Victor. And that copies that number into there. And for the longitude, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So I'll go into my notes document here. And this might be something you have in your sheets for your site that when you establish it or somewhere that you have your electronic latitude and longitude coordinates. I want to make sure I get the whole thing and do a control C again. And a control V when I'm back in the toolbox. So UTM, I don't have UTM coordinates. Usually you don't enter both the latitude and longitude in a UTM. So I'll just tab through those. My site opening date is a required field. And I have that in my notes. And site closing date, um, this is still a, an open site, so there's nothing there. I don't have any telemetry stuff to enter. And then data entry personnel, I've got a drop down list, so I can click on that drop down arrow and see what's in the list. And it shows myself and Misty. And since I'm the one doing the data entry, I click on myself. And that does it for my first site. And I just do a quick QC check to make sure I entered that data correctly. And it looks good to me. So the next thing I want to do is add my second site. And so I've got two options on the bottom of my screen. I've got the Save Site Data and Continue Data Entry button and the Save Site Data and Exit Data Entry button. I have more data to enter, so I'm going to click on Save Site Data and Continue Data Entry. And that opens up a blank new record for me to enter my second site. So my second site, the ID that I have for that site is S98, and this is at City Center site. 
And again, I don't have the AQS side ID, so I'm going to go ahead and tab through that. And for my latitude and longitude, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the notes document and copy and paste those in. So I highlight, do control C, and go into my toolbox and do control V. And then I tab over to longitude and do the same thing. I want to make sure I highlight that negative sign because that needs to go in there. Control C and control V. Controls, oh, look at that. So I don't want that bash, I mean that, whatever that is, there. So I'm just going to highlight it and delete it using my backspace key. And that's gone. And again, I don't have UTM coordinates, but I need to enter my site opening date. And I don't, it's, since it's an open site, I don't have a closing date. And I don't have any telemetry information to enter. I don't have any comments. And I'm going to go ahead and select myself again, because I'm the one that entered this data. And again, I've got my two buttons on the bottom of the screen. And since I'm done entering data, I only have two sites in my air program. I'm going to click on Save Site Data and Exit Data Entry. And that will close this form. And that goes to this form here that I click Exit Form on. And then I'm back in the new user's fast track.